Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com. Let's take a look together at the Shocker Hitch HD Air Receiver Hitch with adjustable two ball mount for your two inch hitch. This heavy duty shock absorbing hitch features an airbag and cushioned bump stops that are gonna give you a smooth and comfortable ride while limiting chucking and jerking to give you better control of your tow vehicle and trailer. This is going to help to extend the life of your truck and trailer by protecting them from unnecessary wear and tear and reduce noise and rattle that's common when towing with a standard ball mount. Now this is going to fit your two inch hitch receiver and this is gonna be great for trailers between 8,000 and 20,000 pounds. I do wanna point out that this will not fit a two and a half inch hitch receiver even with the reducer sleeve because trucks with a two and a half inch hitch typically have deeper frames and this will not work with your SUVs or CUVs or sedans due to limited clearance. This does require a minimum of seven, of seven inches of clearance between the center of the hitch pin hole and the rearmost part of your truck and five inches of clearance below the bottom of your receiver tube. Your receiver opening should be flush with your bumper or protruding from the rear of the vehicle for best fit. Now this has a gross towing weight with the two and five sixteenths inch ball of 20,000 pounds and a tongue weight with the two and five sixteenths inch ball of 2,000 pounds. And then the gross towing weight with the two inch ball is 10,000 pounds and the tongue weight is 1,000 pounds. But you do want to remember that a towing setup is always limited by its lowest rated component, whether that be your vehicle, your hitch, another component, or even the accessory that you're using. Now this does include two easy to, easy to remove pins. These large rings, as you can see, are gonna be very easy to grip. I can fit up to four of my fingers in each of these rings. So no more fumbling with small hitch pin heads. We do also have these large safety clips. It's going to make securing them very easy. I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a brief demonstration of how you can adjust this. I do currently have this on my two inch ball. So as you saw, I went ahead and removed my clips. Now I'm gonna remove my pins and then turn this to the two and five sixteenths inch ball. And I'll just put it at the highest setting here. And as you can see, those pins slide very easily in and out of the, the hitch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove, or replace rather, the clips. So very easy to, um, change this very easy to adjust it i don't think you're going to be at the back of your truck struggling to uh, try to uh, get your uh, your ball platform adjusted the pins and the clips are going to be very easy to remove and to adjust uh, this is going to give you a drop range from about one and a half inches to about three and a half inches the inside width of the channel is three and three quarters inches and then the distance uh, between the vertical adjustment holes is one inch on center. And this is going to be compatible with any shock or hitch accessory. And the steel, uh, the combo, the steel combo ball attachment is uh, has a, a silver powder coat finish. So it's attractive, but it's also gonna resist that rust and corrosion. Now the body of this shocker hitch is designed to pivot back and forth on the shank, kind of like a seesaw or teeter-totter as the airbag, which sits directly beneath your truck's receiver and the cushioned bumpers are going to take the, the uh, they're, they're gonna take turns rather, absorbing that road shock. So the idea is when you hit a bump or your trailer bounces, this unit pivots so that the airbag can isolate and absorb the energy. And then when your trailer jerks forward or backward, the two cushioned bumpers are gonna help soften the force. Now this airbag is easily adjustable. For heavier loads, you're gonna add more air. For lighter loads, you're just gonna let the air out. And to determine the correct amount of air to use, go ahead and hook your trailer up and then load the trailer the way that you're gonna to tow it. And then you're going to add air to the airbag until these bump stops begin to compress. Once they begin to compress, then you should have the right amount of air in the airbag for your load and you'll be ready to go. 
And as you saw, the valve, the air valve is right here. It does include this cap, so it's going to be very easy to add air, remove air, and then you'll just replace that cap when you are done. On the other side, we do have a Zerk fitting at the pivot point that's going to make lubricating this very easy. Now this is made here in the USA of a grade 50 steel plate construction and a cold rolled steel shank. It's going to give you maximum durability. This has been shot blasted and powder coated to prevent rust. And again, this is going to fit your two inch trailer hitch receiver. The hitch pin hole diameter is 5 eighths of an inch. Pin and clip is sold separately, so if you don't have a compatible pin and clip, you would have to pick one of those up. However, this is an investment that you are making, so I would highly re recommend taking a look at the Infinite Rule locking pins on your screen. Uh, I am including our item number for those locking pins. You can take that item number, put it in the search field of our website. That will take you to those pins, and you can add that to your order if you so desire. Just some other dimensions that might be helpful for you. The um, distance from the first hitch pin hole to the center of the ball is about 10 and a quarter inches. And then from the second hitch pin hole, if I can find it here, the second hitch pin hole to the center of the ball were about 11 and a quarter inches. And then the distance from the second hitch pin hole to the end of the shank, about two and three quarters inches. Well, I think that's gonna wrap up our look today. I do hope that our time together has been helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.